Assalamu alaikum. My name is Abdul Rafi and I'm the president of UTM MSA. And I'm Ayman Aslan, the vice president. And we're here to talk to you about IAW. Islam Awareness Week is our largest event of the year where we put in the highest number of resources. A lot of money goes into this, a lot of planning. We've been planning for months and months. We have speakers that come from the US and we basically, it's a, it's a big community event where we try and get as many people involved as possible. So this video is just a short reminder to all the volunteers um, just how we should behave and what our intention should be like and what the spirit of IW is really all about. So we hope to clear up any misconceptions that people have and then also in the process of doing so show what Islam is really about and how it's relevant in our society today because a lot of people might think that it's something a system that's 1400 years old and it has no relevance in our society today but we're here to show what Islam does have to offer in terms of ethics in a variety of fields whether it's self-reformation or how to deal with others just interacting with the large society or different fields and industries so we want to talk about education economy and finance and things of that nature to show that Islam really has a lot to offer different fields and if we can show the singularity of Islam, then we can show its universality, inshallah. Next week, we will have three awesome community lectures for you guys. We're going to talk about the ethics of self-reformation. We're going to talk about the ethics of interaction. We're going to talk about ethics of advancement. And we have speakers from the U.S., from local speakers. Be sure to check it out. IW is a big community event, so we encourage you to invite all your family and friends. Bring your parents, bring your relatives, bring your dadi, man, your nani, John. <laughs> so be there at 5... Inshallah, 5 p.m. on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And this is just a way to get the entire community involved. It is important that each and every one of us has a pure intention, at least try to have a pure intention before, during, and after. No matter where you're in the DAO team, you're in logistics, you're in whatever team you are, if you're on the floor on the day of, that should be the number one priority for you guys, for and, all of us. And for intentions, just know that your intention should be to convey the message. We're not here to shove Islam down people's throats. We're here to share the message, the beauty of it. And we're here to show through our character what Islam has taught us, to become better people, and to show what the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, what his true message was. So just be sure that you know, you're engaging in a discussion, that's, it's a two-way discussion, that you're listening more than you're speaking, that you're asking questions, that you're seeing you know, what the other person's perspective is. And it's a lot about compassion, it's a lot about just dealing with people in a way that you can come down to their level and understand where they're coming from. So just initiate a dialogue and just make friends. That's what it's all about. And not about debating and arguing and stuff, you know. And it's not about winning an argument. If you don't know something, just say, I don't know. It's not wrong. Yeah, just yeah. take down their email address to say, I don't know the answer to that question. But I'll take down your email address and I'll find out the answer and I'll get back to you in a few days. So this is something that we highly encourage our volunteers to do. So you don't have to always win. And it's yeah. not about winning or losing. And it's about understanding them. And, about, and it's about them understanding us as well. So it's about it's having fun. Two way thing. Having fun. Okay, for all the volunteers, this is some of the things that you should do and you should not do. Number one is arrive on time. We're gonna start the setup at 10 a.m. So arrive, you know, 9:30 a.m. ish, and you know. Bleh. <laughs> Help set up, and by 11 we're ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're good. We're back and yes. we're back. And a reminder to our volunteers is to look professional, look presentable, smell nice, shower. I hear that's good for you. And if you have a tendency to sweat a lot, bring an extra shirt, wear some extra Old Spice. Yeah, look at you, man. <laughs> <laughs> and also, uh, trim your face because <laughs> Some of you got some things going on, like it's midterm season, do this, do this. and you got like Nyeh. So make sure that when you come, you look presentable and you don't look like you've been hiding in a cave for 14 years. So fix your face and come ready to smile and make some friends. Remember guys, be on your best behavior on IW. And you know what, not only in on IW, but on any days because we're Muslims. And we might be the only Quranic verse that people will ever read or we might be the only glimpse of our prophet that people will ever see. So if you have any questions or concerns, email us at executives at utmmsa.com. And remember that this is a chance for everyone to get involved. If you haven't been part of the MSA at all, if you're not even Muslim, it's all good. 
we just want you to come out and have some fun, learn, enjoy, make some friends. And this is just a community event to get to know one another and to really convey what our perspective is. So we hope to see you there. Yeah, none of that, please.